he's pretty bad in Thor, but it seems like he really comes into his own as a villain in this movie. Mm. How much fun was that for you to play? It was great. Like, he's off the map mentally. He's, he's, he's completely let go of, <laughs> of normal psychological patterns. Um, and uh, it was great, you know, it's great to work with all these amazing actors. It was great to play, to, to continue th sort of the evolution of the character because he's so fascinating. He's like, Loki is an incarnation of the darkest aspects of, of human nature, basically. He is, he is jealousy, he's pride and ambition. Like, I think Mark Ruffalo has the best line about him. He's like, Loki's mind is a box of cats. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. It's fun to be a box of cats. It yeah. seems like, though, it always comes back to the brotherhood between Loki and Thor. So do yeah. you think there is a chance that Loki could ever turn to the good side? Yeah, I do. I don't know when, <laughs> but um, I think uh, that would be interesting for me. Is, is That's what's interesting about the character, is he's constantly kind of dancing on this tightrope um, of, of the light and the dark. Because he was born with good instincts, and, it's, and, and all of his, his villainy is, comes from a kind of a, a betrayal. Like he just feels like... The narrative of his whole life has been a, a, an appalling lie, and um, so he's kind of heartbroken. And, and maybe if someone can actually get through the sort of the leather and the metal and the this sort of shell of, of um, anger that he has, that maybe they can like give him a hug. I don't know. <laughs>